Here on the show, we also encourage you to be good to yourself. You know, you should treat yourself once in a while, and this is a deal you should not miss. Only $16.99. It takes you to not one, not just the Philippines, but to two destinations, including Malaysia, which is also a beautiful country to explore. We've talked about that before here on our program, and so there is no deadline for this. So if you're planning on vacationing, summer season, holiday season, uh, just call Travel International Group. Dual destination, Malaysia and the Philippines. Meanwhile, more entertainment right about now on the red carpet on Kabobayan Today. You're watching On the Red Carpet. Get the latest Hollywood news brought to you by Pacific Rim Photos and Videos. Your eye on the red carpet. All right, Asian American Pride Mark Kababayan, who isn't into K-pop? And of course, this group called Speed came out here recently to have a meet and greet with their fans. Chris Tronson was there to give us the latest. Hey Janelle, we are out here in downtown Los Angeles at Vlado Footwear where two of the members of the K-pop supergroup Speed are here for a meet and greet with their fans. Uh, why we come here? Because he's, uh, he's our main producer. Yeah. So that's why we have to make a song in here with the... Famous pop star. Yeah, so that's why we're Oh, so you, he's doing, uh, he's producing a beat for a famous pop star? No, or, uh, our songs. Okay. And we come here because we're recording the. Yeah. I'm recording with a famous pop star. Can you tell us or is it shh? It's secret. <laughs> and together with Peter Gonzaga of Pacific Rim, they run from K-pop to the epic TV series from AMC. It's called The Walking Dead, of course. Who hasn't heard of that? And it's now on its season four. Hey, Janelle, we are here for AMC's top-rated show, The Walking Dead, and it is season four time. First up is Andrew Lincoln, who tells us about his character, Rick. All right, so this this season we saw a lot of struggle, you know, with Lori, Lori passing, and you having to kind of deal with that. Is your character going to kind of still be struggling with that, or has he sort of moved on because of the craziness? Yeah, that's a good that's a good question. They've actually um, dialed him back in. He's he's a he's a man healing, and uh, and he's renounced leadership. He's uh, he stepped away from the brutality of the world for the sake of his children. Yeah. Stephen Yoon jokes with us what it's like to be the only Asian on set. What, what is your character's secret for surviving, do you think? Um, the, the only Asian guy on the show. They're like, we need, a, you know, we got to keep him. We got to keep him. No, I think Glenn, uh, he's, he's resilient. And uh, I think he, his tale has not been completely told as of yet. Yeah. Well, a lot of last season was, about, you know, the relationship between you and your girlfriend. Um, what, what's going on for Glenn this season? I mean, how, is your story arc different? Like, what can we expect this season from your character? Uh, you know, Glenn and Maggie are in a good place. They're in a safe place. Um, they're sound. Uh, but, you know, the thing is, is uh, when you have safety and you have a semblance of, of, of peace, there's a looming thing that in the back of your head, at least in Glenn's head, that it might all come crashing down someday. And so for him, he has that natural worry, and he really wants to hold tight to that. All right, so last season we saw Maggie delivering. going to change who she is this fourth season. She's very strengthened this season from all those events. So she's definitely sort of, I don't know, it's like you crack something open and then when it repairs, the repair is actually stronger. It's like a bo broken bone. Absolutely. So uh, we've got a great journey for her. She's She's got a lot of responsibility in protecting the group and in guarding the group. Um, you know, Rick's taken somewhat of a back seat as well um, after the craziness and everything of last year. So we see we see some new people stepping up to help protect the group, and um, there's just this flow. There's just this symbiosis to the the community. <laughs> this season, um, how do you guys outdo last season? I mean, is the action bigger? Are the walkers? I heard there's a scene with like a thousand walkers. Yeah, I'm in that scene. Um, yeah, I mean, there's, it's it's bigger, but it, it's also it's so well thought out, and the character development is so key this season. Um, it breathes. It, 
you'll cry a lot. It's it's sad and scary and and very very real. You know. So there you have it. We're signing out from The Walking Dead season four premiere. I'm Chris Tronson signing out for Pacific Rim Video on the red carpet. Yes, thank you so much, Chris, Peter, and Pacific Rim. Those are just snippets of their coverage and their interviews. If you want more, catch them on social media. So they are on YouTube. They also are on Twitter. And as well, I follow uh, Chris and Peter uh, on Twitter as well, Chris Tronson at Chris Tronson and Peter at Peter Gonzaga for Twitter. Meanwhile, speaking of social media, we are also on uh, different sites in social media. We have a YouTube page, youtube.com slash couple by an LA18. We are also on Twitter, I'd love to tweet with you, please, uh, twitter.com slash Janelle So, and we have two Facebook accounts, information on the screen. Now, wearable leather, I would like to give a shout out to Miss Candle. Miss Candle is um, an Asian American owned uh, clothing company. They design their own stuff and they uh, uh, get it from Asia. They have it produced in Asia and they have very, very stylish deals. Log on to www. My name is Janelle Sawyer, coupled by in Los Angeles, saying thank you for joining us, and I'll see you again tomorrow.